All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so today I'm eating a place called Creole To Go. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Even if you aren't new, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know things you like to see us try, things you like to see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. I'm going to say grace and get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nourishment of our bodies in hell. In Jesus' name we pray, man. All right, all right. So I was telling y'all about this place before when I had got that um, fufu. And I told y'all that I wanted to, get, or actually when I got the, um, when I got the, um, what I get? <laughs> the the cheesesteak from the one place from Wario's. And I told y'all I was trying to get this place, but it didn't look like they were open. Well, I had to come to work today for this little um, event or whatever. And so I was like, okay, what am I eat? They had, now they did have lunch at work. They had like, a, I think they had like hot dogs and chips and burgers, I think, or something like that. But I was like, well, uh, I want that. <laughs> I ain't too good for it because them hot dogs, them hot dogs actually did look pretty good. Um, but I just wanted to get something else. I really am, I think for, I think the next time I come to work, I'm gonna get uh, this Indian place. Well, that's if I'm not coming to work to go to lunch or something like that. But anywho, I got this place and I got a, a, a catfish po' boy. It's kind of huge, but big old, it's a catfish on here and I'm not mad about it. But I'm gonna eat this thing. Bam, like that. Look how big this is. I feel like it was, it's big, It's even bigger than when I got it um, at the other place. I told you I had a team lunch or we did a volunteer event. We are like my broader team. And we went to East Market. Um, I ended up getting this place and I got this. Catfish po' boy, and then I got um that poo poo to take home. Mm -hmm. I want a bite. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think I'll get a bite of the sandwich. Look at it, it's cute. <laughs> Red okay. All right. A spacing issue on my phone. It's ridiculous, honestly. Ugh. So I put lettuce, tomato, pickle. Look like some mayo and some sort of um, some sort of like seafood sauce. It was funny because. When I went to the other one, I asked them if they had tartar sauce, and she was like, no, we don't have that. <laughs> Maybe it's the thing that they don't need it. <laughs> They're like, no, nah, how dare you disrespect our sandwiches? We don't need no tartar sauce. But this is good. I like whatever this bread is. They have different ones. Like they have a shrimp one, I think. They had a couple different type of po' boys. What's up? The one day I got it, I was like, mm, shrimp, I mean, po', uh, catfish just sound real good. I should have got something to drink. I got water, but they had sweet tea and I should have got I should have got more. It's okay, I'll drink my water.
That was cool. Kind of see some people. Um. That I haven't seen. I saw like I have two mentors basically, and um, I saw both of them. The one I didn't know her before she became my mentor, and so you know I typically don't um, come into the office, so I don't you know see people often or whatever. But even still, she's been working at my job longer than I have. But yeah, I had never seen her before. But she works on a different part of the business, but. Um, so it was pretty cool to see her in person and then uh, my other mentor I was talking to him yesterday he was like uh, will you be at the little turn I was like well yeah I'll be there well, the, the table that he was at um, it was talking about um, like this basically well I didn't even I don't know how I didn't know this <laughs> but we have like a couple different groups in which we talk amongst ourselves as African American people or people of color melanated folks in our like area so like just talking like you know share experiences like you know trick tips and tricks uh, for development and like you know upward mobility and stuff like that and I didn't know so it, was, it started off with the it started off with um, what am I say it started off with just like the women like we had got together and then we expanded to like have a men's and women's one and then they just have a men's one or whatever and the men's one is like a whole official like resource group and um um But yeah, the men's one is like an official thing, and when it become official, then I mean HR got to be involved, and they got to have their hand and stuff, and they got to approve stuff and all some kind of stuff. And I remember when we first started getting together, we kind of we didn't want that, but it was crazy because we tried to like have a meeting with like our up like our basically the leader of like our whole work area so this is just like that's okay I'll leave uh, I'll leave on like uh first of all hmm hmm sorry y'all know that was gross um the leader of our whole like little accounting finance area And um, HR was like, no, nah. right? It can't just be y'all, basically. And so from then on, we were just like kind of just kept it between amongst ourselves and, you know, just meet because, again, it basically just seemed like they're like, uh, y'all niggers can't be congregating in, uh, in no sacred spaces or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, and or they uh, feel like they want to open it up to like everybody but it's just like that's annoying because 
Now, while, you know, people can attend whatever, like, it's not going to apply to you because it's specifically geared towards, like, a certain demographic, you know what I'm saying? And, like, if, if it was, um... Uh, So it was like elderly people. The young people ain't gonna be going in there talking about, oh, we need to be included too. Like, no, it's for specifically for elderly people and nobody will even raise an eyebrow because it's, you know, melanated folk, they got problem being here. All I have to say that I didn't know that the men's had officially turned into like a official like business resource group or whatever. Um but i was talking to him about that he said my mentor that is he was saying you know talking about basically how hr you know is all up in they um, in they jump <laughs> and that's what we ain't want so it's not like it's anything to hide or anything but it's just like there are so many other like groups and all that kind of stuff that don't include us or whatever so many areas that don't really work to uplift us and we need something that's going to help us or whatever and and i feel like when we said when we was getting together i think they wanted to try to rope us in like one of the other business resource groups there are like there is one specifically for african-american women but it's like for the whole organization, not just specifically for our business area, basically. Uh, that wasn't what we wanted. <laughs> but yeah, we wanted to have a meeting like with our guy who like heads our whole business area or whatever. And they were just like, nah, shut us down real quick. <laughs> this one HR lady, but she ain't even over us no more, which is great because she just... Like, I think I told y'all about this one time I was on, uh, um, they were like giving us training for, to do like this recruiting event. And it was for, it was for Asian students, but, uh, I think it's her Asian students. I, I'm pretty sure. And she, this, this lady, she said, I forget. I don't know what the question was, but she basically was just like, yeah, I mean, if I'm, you know, uh, interacting with a, a African-American student, I'm going to want to, or no, she said black. If I'm interviewing or interacting with a black student or a black recruit, I'm going to get someone black to like talk to them, basically. And I'm just like, ma'am. Uh, of course she thought she meant well but like no no absolutely not absolutely freaking not ma'am as to say like you know that's how she's gonna attract or appeal to that different graphic I don't know which is just, I mean I guess I mean I can understand because you know you want to I don't know I mean on, on the one hand we do want to show that we do have representation or whatever but like you just gonna pick some random token black person to like talk to all the black people or whatever like no ma'am <laughs> But she just, and she was confident when she said that thing. She was just like, yeah, I'll just get somebody black to talk to him. Like, mm -mm. She was just not good for the for the culture. <laughs> I 
it's just like it just seems like when when hr is involved in like the business resource groups then it gets censored and i don't like that i don't like that and especially now like they they talk about all right everything got go through hr and now everything got go through our like diversity council basically which it ain't a whole lot of uh, it just ain't a whole lot of i wonder if it's the the company-wide one though and not just the one for it might, it's probably the company-wide one which who knows what kind of representation is in that council or whatever i know in the one in my like business area it's not really as diversified as it needs to be or whatever and so you got people making decisions or decision decisioning on which i guess this is just america in general right but make decisioning on stuff that they really can't relate to you know what i'm saying like like men decisioning on women's rights stuff you know and i just find it so funny i've talked about this before i find it funny that we have like resource groups for different types of like different classes of associates and i'll caveat the caveat what i'm about to say by saying that maybe people are just doing this because they just want to learn or whatever which is fine but and, and obviously it's open to whomever or whatever but for the one that I'm on that's all women, it's supposed to be all women. We have a male sitting on the, I think he's a, either he's a, like a liaison for one of the chapters of the resource group or he's on the board. And it's just like, dude, you're a, like, this is a all women's. How are you contributing to women? How, how, sir, why are you here? Like, it's just annoying. Like, it's just people like. I don't know. I just that that's annoying. It's annoying to me because it's just like you can't. You yeah okay. You may have all type of women in your family in your life or whatever, but you literally cannot relate to women's issues. So why are you here? <laughs> why are you here? And then, and the one that's for African American women, I've seen like multiple melanin recessive women in the meetings or whatever. And this was this was pre like before social injustice was like a like I won't say it's always been there, but it's been before it was like you know the light was shone, uh, shown. I mean, start to, started to shine on the issue because of social media and all this other kind of stuff. There were melanin recessive and women in the meetings. It's just like, why are you here? Why are you here? Y'all just got to be included, huh? We just can't have nothing for ourselves, you know? It's just annoying. And then, you know, when, when, um, uh, when people find out that there are things, you know, tailored to, like, for example, the Wiz, when, when the melanin recessive people found out, first of all, the Wiz been around for a long time, but when they found out that it was going to be the mu musical and that it was an all black cast, they were up in arms like, oh, if we had an all white cast, y'all would be tripping. Y'all do have one. It's called the Wizard of Oz. Like, it's like we have to create these spaces for ourselves because otherwise, y'all going to gatekeep and try to keep us out of there. So we gotta, you know what I'm saying, do something so that we can have a seat at the table too. Mm. Y'all give me what I'm trying to say. It's like, Y'all not being excluded. We trying to be included.
Mm. This polo is really good. That that um, the fish was fried like fresh, like she fried it. So she you know threw it down. She took my word. I like whatever the sauces they put on there. I really like this bread. I got me another set of uh, cutlery, and they real they quality. This quality cutlery too. Alright y'all, well, excuse me, put it in there with my other premium cutlery. just talked to somebody today who leave him and going back to my old employer I used to work at um, Chase but I don't know man I don't think I could do it for real cause them folk, like I it's just different with my current employer versus when I worked there I just feel like one there's just better opportunity for me to move around here um, and the culture is just better the culture is way better and I would just be nervous about um, like layoffs and stuff because Chase lay people off in a second, okay? They doing a whole bu bunch of hiring right now. And they lay people off and they uh, making their people go in the office or whatever, whereas my employer is not, not really. I mean, they keep talking about it, but our CEO, he really just uh, really is adamant about like hashtag work from anywhere or whatever like just you he feel like people can get the job done at home and like even when you know after the pandemic or even during the pandemic when like businesses downtown and stuff like like obviously we have a lot of you know people we aren't the only one but a lot of people who brought you know money and stuff to these businesses around my employer and they was just like look you got to you got to come back in and my our ceo was like no nah, we don't we ain't got to do nothing to stay black and die that's what he said um so really appreciate him for that where my brother i feel like they definitely all back in the office like full time I mean, well my brother i think he only worked like i think he got to go in three days a week 
around you and do that. I'm like, I'm cool. I'll go in if I need, like, when we need to, like, when we have meetings and stuff. But other than that, I ain't trying to go in nobody's office. Now. I don't think I got my lipstick in my, in my purse, y'all. I just got like a little lip liner. All right, that's all. I'm going to get up out of here because clearly at this point I'm not saying nothing to y'all. All right, well, we're saying anything of substance. So on that note, I'm peace out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know things you like to see us try, things you like to see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. And subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. And we'll see you in the next one.